Welcome. Today we're looking at a Fontaine. Uh, this is a French pump lock. I can't really tell you much about it. I honestly don't know. What we, if we have a look at the key, we've got a little flag there uh, by which the barrel's tensioned. Uh, otherwise a circular keyway, so not much to tension off. Uh, although there are little fins between all of the um, active pins, so or, or sliders. I suspect what we're looking at here is a, a slider lock with stators. So these, you can see the sliders, and in between are the sort of spaces. As you can see, we've got five active elements uh, that are pushed to varying depths by the key here. The end of the key will also push on the circular thing you can see at the back, which just means that this side of the lock will take over the, um, the actuator of the cam. Um, really quite a pretty key. These are all cast and then milled. Um, a lovely double euro French lock. The reason I've got it like this is just so you can sort of see what's going on inside the lock a bit. Uh, I will have to turn it a bit while I'm picking all my hands or just be in your way. Um, so in order to tension this lock, I've got a piece of bent wire. So that's going to go in there and hook into the slot for the, for the tension rib. As you can see, I can get decent tension on the um, on the core there. Now I know from experience that this is my first slider to bind. Now if I put tension on the lock, I absolutely cannot move that, that slider. I've actually got to manually counter rotate. And there you go. So what I'm going to do is push it all the way to the back. And then release some tension. I think you might have heard the click there. So it sort of it's, it slid forward and into its uh, true gate. Oh no, actually it, it slid past. So I just gave it a push and that sort of set it. So now, as you can see, it's sort of staying down there. I'm just going to turn this a bit more so my hand. So I'm going to work around to this next bottom right one. Sorry, my thumb's in your way, but it's inevitable. That's gone springy now. So what I'm getting here is a totally stiff slider and then um, to tell me it's binding and then when it gets to its gate it goes springy. So I get a little click out of that one. I'm not sure about this one, it's not quite right. This one's binding. Give a little click there. That one's still springy. So I suspect that the gates uh, on these sliders have a um, bit of a taper to them because the sliders will not set in one go. You sort of tap it, set it. This one's binding now. There we go. Yeah, I might have overset it, but I've let it back up and now it's springing. A little bit of click there. Springy, 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 a little bit of binding here, springy, little click there, and there we go. So as you can see now, the core is starting to turn. You can see that this hole well, we can no longer insert the key that the core started to move across there. You can sort of see the orientation of the, um, the spaces has moved. So we'll turn it a little bit further. I don't want to go too far because it'll lock up and I'll have to pick it backwards because the key won't work. Go a little bit further. You can see the core clearly turning. And back to locked. And you saw all of the elements come back up there. I'm just zoom out a smidgen here. Now, unfortunately, because of the construction of this lock, I'm not going to be able to gut it. Uh, you can see that um, it's a one-piece bridge here, so it would need to be cut to halve them. Um, also, these rings here aren't circlips, the brass rings in here. They are solid, so I can't remove that and sort of pull each side of the core out and gut it like it, 
a normal double euro. Uh, furthermore, we've got these pins in here that are blind pins. So I could possibly drill them out, but even then I'm not sure that I could take it apart. These are fairly expensive, um, not exactly common, so I'm not really willing to destroy it to try and have a look. But I'm fairly certain that the way this operates is, is similar to uh, Triad Cobra or um, one that I've picked on my channel is a HFS Prophylux. If you have a look at that video, it's a similar sort of lock where you've got sliders with a gate in them and a stator uh, that the gate has to engage. So I hope that makes sense. Anyway, very pretty French lock. Um, not exactly a challenging pick, but um, not dead easy either. They've put some effort into trying and making it a little bit pick resistant. That was the Fontaine Paris. Thanks for watching.